A weighted average, which is another kind of mean, is used when some values in a number set count more heavily than others. Let's see how that works in the following example. We have a biology class that contains 20 students. So I'm going to circle that. That's a piece of information that's given to us. We have eight female students in the class, and they are enrolled on average in 14 semester credits. There are 12 male students, and they are enrolled in an average of eight semester credits. Compute the average number of semester credits for the class as a whole. So this is our goal. Compute the average number of semester credits for the class as a whole. So it would not be correct to just take 14 and 8 and average them because it's a weighted average. There are 8 women in the class and 12 men. So it's not an equal number of men and women, so we can't just take these and add them and divide by 2. So let's create a table and fill in the table and that will help us to understand the data set that we have and how we can find uh, the weighted average. There are 8 female students in the class. There are 12 male students in the class. That gives us our total of 20 students in the class. The females are enrolled in an average of 14 semester credits. The males are enrolled in an average of 8. So to get the credit totals for the class, I'm going to multiply 8 times 14 and that's going to give me 112. Same thing for the males. I'm going to multiply 12 times 8 and get 96. Now I want to add these together because this is the sum of all of my credits. So that gives me 208 as a total if I add 112 plus 96. Now to compute the average I'm going to take the total credits for the class, which is 208, and I'm going to divide that by the number of people in the class, which is 20, and that's going to give me an average of 10.4. We can formalize our solution here and write as a complete sentence our result. So class members, on the average, are enrolled in 10.4 semester credits. So we can see that if we had added the 14 plus the 8, we would have gotten 22 divided by 2 would be 11. So it makes sense because we have more men than women and their average credits are lower that our class average would be a little bit lower than the average of the 8 plus the 14.